With the number of confirmed cases now dotted across 19 states, President Obama held his second cabinet meeting since taking office. We don't know for certain that this will end up being uh, more severe than other seasonal flus that we have. And it's been noted, I think, before that you have uh, over 36,000 people die uh, on average every year from seasonal flus. You have 200,000 hospitalizations. It may turn out that H1N1 is, uh, runs its course like uh, ordinary flus. Over 300 U.S. schools have closed their doors. 22 students were banned from their graduation ceremony at a university in Pennsylvania because they'd spent a month teaching in Mexico. What we're saying is there are so many unknowns at this point. How could we not err on the side of safety? There's been just one confirmed death in the U.S. That was a toddler from Mexico, the epicenter of the outbreak. In a remote village in Oaxaca, 300 miles from Mexico City, they buried another suspected victim. Juana Garcia, a 39-year-old housewife, had reportedly been in good health until a fortnight ago. She died on Tuesday. I feel really lonely now without my wife. I've really fallen hard. My daughters and I are now alone, and I have lots of debts now that I have no idea how I am going to pay. Mexico has all but shut down essential government services for the next five days. Streets in the city, usually clogged with traffic, are unusually quiet. But health officials believe the virus isn't as aggressive as first feared. But there is still concern. Three U.S. cruise ships have been diverted away from Mexico to the Virgin Islands. A United Airlines plane flying from Munich to Washington was diverted to Boston after a woman started displaying signs of a flu-like virus. Governments aren't just struggling to contain the spread of the H191 virus, but paranoia as well.